OK, I'm going to show you how to graph a rational function um, based on basically everything I'm going to tell you. OK, what you need to do to find the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts, and those two asymptotes, the vertical and the horizontal, OK? So again, that's from the previous video. So we're going to do it with this one here. OK, now, if you want to base um, information off the previous video where we looked at asymptotes, then look at this. Can you see? You look at the denominator. In other words, the denominator, remember, cannot be 0. In other words, x cannot be negative 3. Okay, the denominator cannot be 0, x cannot be negative 3. I would do a dotted line at x equals negative 3. Okay, so there's my vertical asymptote. Can you see by looking at the leading coefficients of this one? This is an x over an x. In other words, the orders are the same. If you remember this, it's just the leading coefficient over the leading coefficient, in other words, 1 over 1, which is 1, okay? Again, remember, if it was bigger on the bottom, it would be y equals 0. This is y equals 1. So I'm going to draw that, okay? So those are the asymptotes done. Now, how do you find the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts? Well, remember, a y intercept is when x equals 0, okay? So look at this. Let's go back to that x minus 2 over x plus 3. If that's 0 and that's 0, can you see negative 2 thirds would be the y-intercept, okay? Just make sure you see that. Okay, excuse me. Okay, so that would be the y... Now, that's kind of hard to draw here, but it's about... Ooh, about there, just below there, okay? So I'm going to put it to there, okay? Just below that zero, zero point. So zero, negative two-thirds. Negative two-thirds down the y-axis. Okay, now the x-axis is done just by looking at the numerator. Because remember, the whole idea is, is how do I make, how do I get a zero? A zero is your x-intercept. Well, can you see if I put, let's go back to here, okay? x minus two over x plus three. How do I make this equal to zero? All you need to do is worry about the numerator, because if the numerator is zero, then everything's zero. Can you see? X would be two, okay? So just look at the numerator to find your x-intercepts, just like you just look at the denominator to find your vertical asymptotes. Right, I have two, okay? So I'm gonna roughly draw this. Hits that, hits that, remember? And I'm approaching, remember that I'm approaching the asymptotes both the horizontal and the vertical, okay? So that's what I've got so far. Now, the final thing to do your rational functions is just to plot some more points. Look, I've got everything on the left-hand, sorry, the right-hand side of that x equals negative 3 line. That's it. I can't draw any more. Uh, if I do, it won't be a function, okay? It might cross the y-axis somewhere else. You can't have this. It won't be a function. I need to draw something, basically, on this side, whether it's up here or down here, okay? Now, the thing about not drawing it below is, is if I do, I'll end up hitting the x-axis again, and there's no more x-intercepts. The only x-intercept was x equals 2, okay? So if you plot some more points, you'll end up finding there's another line up there approaching the asymptotes, okay? But check it yourself. Plot, you know, negative uh, when x is negative 4, when x is negative 5, okay, when x is negative 6. In other words, just pick some points and see what the y value is and graph it. Um, so... If I, let's just erase a lot of this and just quickly have a shot at the next question. Okay, let's look at this. I would do this. Okay, now, any order. Okay, let's have a look at this. If I look at the leading thing here, okay, if I'm doing my horizontal asymptotes, can you see it's bigger on the bottom? Therefore, it's y equals zero. So, you can just kind of do that. Okay. Now, if you put the numerator, remember, equal to 0, that will give you your x-intercept. That's x minus 1. So you can see the 0 is positive 1. So positive 1 is my x-intercept. Now, if I put all the x's equal to 0, I will get my y-intercept. Can you see if I put all my x's equal to 0? Positive 1 fourth. Positive 1 fourth is the y-intercept. Okay, so again, it's very, very, it's very, very. I'm just going to put it down in here, just very kind of close there, close to basically the x-axis. That's hard to do because the graph isn't big enough. Right. Um, what else do I have? I need to do my vertical asymptotes, and that is setting the denominator equal to zero. 
that will factor into, let's have a look, x minus 4, x plus 1. Okay? So in other words, positive 4 and negative 1 are the zeros. Those are the things I can't have. So I'm going to draw a vertical line at positive 4 and negative 1. Okay, right. The only way to kind of graph in between those two vertical asymptotes and hit the y-intercept and that x-intercept at positive 1 is to do this. Oh dear, it's not going to be easy. Hit that, hit that, and then go down. Now I can't go back up again because I'll hit the x-axis again. Remember there's only one x-intercept. So that has to be it. Okay, You get to learn a bit more about uh, experience on that later. Now then, where else? Where else is there a line? Okay, all you can do is try different values of x back into the equation. You know, try x equals 5, try x equals 6, try x equals 7, try x equals negative 2, try x equals negative 3, okay, try x equals negative 4. So I'm going to try x equals 5, okay, on this side. x equals 5, so 5 take away 1 is 4. Okay, remember, I'm just going back to the original question. Um, 5, 5 squared is 25, minus 15 uh, is 10, I think that's 6, whatever it is, it is positive, so I'm not exactly sure, it's something a bit less than 1, I'll put a little dot there, but what that means is if it's up here, your graph is going to be something like that, again, approaching the asymptotes, but I know, what I figured out there was, is it was positive, so I knew it was going to be up here. Let's try uh, negative 2, let's try this uh, negative 2 point here. So negative 2, negative 1. Again, so I'll put negative 2 again back into here. Negative, that's negative 3. Negative 2 squared is 4. Um, what's that? Plus 6, 10. I think that's, I think that's 6. Whatever, negative, I think it's negative. What I'm trying to say is, okay, it's down here somewhere. So in other words, this is probably what it's going to be. And that is everything. So just have a look at that. Stick it in your graphing calculator to check. But remember, let's just uh, do this one time, okay? One more time. You need to find the x-intercepts. Put the numerator equal to zero. You need to find your y-intercepts. Put the x's equal to zero, okay? You also need to find your vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So your vertical asymptotes set the denominator equal to zero okay and for the horizontal asymptote you've either got to look at something like uh, uh, x over x squared and that's y equals zero or something like um, again I'm just making up examples here um, something like uh, 5x squared blah 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 over just x squared blah, 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 and that would be y equals 5 because again you're just looking at the leading coefficients okay